hello and welcome to crack suite i'm back with a new video and today in this video i'm going to show you how to install twrp custom recovery on xiaomi redmi note 9 pro max so without further ado let's get started first thing first this is not the official twrp build official twrp build is still not available for now so we are going to install this unofficial TWRP on this phone. Although it's unofficial but it works pretty fine. And the credit goes to the developer who made this working TWRP for Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. I was trying to install TWRP on this phone. But every time I boot my phone to the system, after flashing TWRP, it used to get removed and overwritten by stock recovery. I even tried to flash BB Meta image file but it was not working for me. Then after trying a lot I found one method from which you can install TWRP and which will stay permanently on this Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. So for this method your phone needs to be rooted. I know you may be wondering how can we root without having any custom recovery installed. But you don't need to worry about that cause I have made a separate video on which I have shown the full process to root Redmi Note 9 Pro Max without having TWRP. You can watch that video from the description section. So first of all root your Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, then follow this process. And as you can see here my phone is rooted, root access is properly installed on this device written there, which means the phone is rooted and on Magisk Manager also everything is up to date. And now I will show you that there is no any custom recovery installed on my phone. For this I will reboot my phone to the recovery section. You can also reboot your phone to the recovery by long pressing the power button and volume up button together. Now it's rebooted into the recovery mode. This is the stock recovery. No any custom recovery is installed. Now reboot it to the system using power button. So now the phone is rebooted to the system. First of all enable the developer option. For this go to the settings. Then click on about phone. And then tap on MIUI version about 7 times to enable the developer option. Then go back and go to the additional settings. Here click on developer options and here simply enable that USB debugging. After enabling the USB debugging then you have to take your phone to the fastboot mode and to go to the fastboot mode simply long press the power button and volume down button together then your phone will redirect to the fastboot mode. And here in fastboot mode simply connect your phone to the computer with the help of data cable then put your phone down there then go to the computer. So here in computer you have to download these two files from the description section. The first one is ADB setup and the second one is TWRP recovery image file. First of all install this ADB setup on your computer. Right click on it and click on run as administrator and then this kind of interface will appear. Here simply press Y and hit enter, press Y and hit enter again and press Y and hit enter again and click on next and click on finish. Now the ADB and fastboot drivers are installed on our computer. So now copy this TWRP recovery image file. And then go to your C drive and inside here you will see ADB folder. Just open it and paste the TWRP file here. Now we have to open Windows PowerShell. For this right click of your mouse holding shift button together. Then click on open PowerShell windows. Then Windows PowerShell will open and here we have to type some commands. So our first command is fastboot space devices then hit the enter button then some numbers will soon which indicates that our phone is connected to the computer in fastboot mode now we have to type another command which is fastboot space flash space recovery space then drag that twrp image file from adp folder to command promote and hit the enter button now the flashing process is completed. Now simply type exit and hit the enter button. And this will exit this windows power cell. Now our working computer is done. So now let's go to the mobile phone. Now the phone is in fast boot mode. Now you can remove that data cable. Now we have to reboot our phone to the recovery mode. For this long press the power button and volume up button together. Then your phone will redirect to the recovery mode. This is how TWRP custom recovery looks like. Now directly I would reboot this phone to the system. 
and when it reboots to the system, I will again reboot it to the recovery mode to check either the TWRP is still there or not. So to reboot it to the system, just click on that reboot button and then click on system. Then your phone will reboot to the system. So now it's rebooted to the system. So without any wasting time, I will reboot my phone to the recovery section. For this, go to the about phone section, then click on system update and then click on the three dots, then click on reboot to recovery mode and click on reboot now. Then your phone will reboot to recovery mode. And you can also reboot it to the recovery mode by long pressing the power button and volume up button together. And you can see the logo of TWRP, which means TWRP custom recovery is still there and is installed permanently. Now you can flash custom roams and kernels from here and also can do lots of modification and customization from this TWRP. So in this way you can install TWRP custom recovery on Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video and if you do then hit that like button. Comment below if you have any kind of problem, confusion or suggestion and share this video as much as you can. And don't forget to subscribe to our CrackSuite YouTube channel and hit that notification bell too. Now you can follow us on social media also. All the links will be in the description section. Thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye, take care.